Hi everyone. Probably look like a weirdo. These people coming at me are thinking I'm waving hi at them. I'm sure another story. That way we get to know each other uh, very well. Oh, oh, can't believe I just did that. Anyway. So I moved, I moved out of my parents' apartment when I was 18, 18, 19, I can't remember. I've always had a full-time job. But moving now makes you, it's a, it's a gift and a curse. It's a gift because you get to taste freedom immediately. A uh, curse because you gotta be a very responsible adult. And if you do it at my age, uh, you're fucked. You're fucked in the sense of not necessarily having your own responsibility is trapping yourself at such a young age because you have no savings, right? You're just 18, fresh out of high school, getting checks, and needing to buy... All, and anything that you... Any small savings you have has to go to appliances, right? Bills. So getting fired is not an option. Well, keep that in mind. Let's put that in the back burner for now. Just, 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 just so you can get an idea of where I'm at at that time. This is over 10 years ago. But I used to work for a casino here in San Bernardino, and it wasn't the tribe's fault, right? They do their best to open up a casino, open up food joints and stuff like that. And I started working at a uh, fine dining restaurant that stressed everybody out because it was making no money because you're trying to sell plates for forty dollars. And one of the poorest, it's the poorest, biggest county in the nation. And it's definitely up there, well, one of the poorest cities in the nation. And you're trying to get them to uh, buy $40 plates for just a steak, a small steak, a little filet mignon. So the everyone's always frustrated, everyone's chewed, you know, the managers are getting chewed up for not hitting quota, and then they're saying, then they blame it on the staffing, and they're not upselling, whatever. Everyone's frustrated. So I'm young, stuck in a job, living on my own. One. Two. I'm living in, I mean, I'm working at a, a fine dining restaurant where everyone's getting chewed out, and everyone's scared because I feel like everyone's financially stuck like I am. So no one wants to get fired. No one just says, fuck this shit, I'm out. You know, everyone it, it forces to work horrible hours, ho horrible conditions. And yeah, of course, I'm not talking about, you know, their nation conditions, but still. For example, working at a casino. <clears throat> now, I don't know how other casinos work, but they're their uh, own sovereign nation. So they can make their own labor laws as long as it's not criminal, really. That's pretty much what it is. And so you bet your ass that to take advantage of that. Maybe not the tribe again, like I said. It's just the managers that they hire. So keep this in mind. You work nine, ten hour shift total. And they force you to take your lunch after your first two hours. And no breaks. I repeat, they make here in California, <coughs> they make you take lunch after the first two hours, right before business hours open. And you get no breaks after that. Let alone that I also work for a really small, racist, <coughs> little dick, short fuse ginger man. <sighs> man, I'm getting worked up or anything about that guy. Anyway, I had to really go to the restroom, man. I had explosive diarrhea just bubbling inside my belly. You guys know how that feels. The one that actually hurts. The type that actually hurts you. And, you know, if you want to go on break, you, you got to ask for permission. You're, you're not asking people to cover your tables. You know, hey, I'm going to a restroom, cover my table, you know? No, 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 no. You got to give permission. Got to give, sorry. You got to get permission. And unfortunately for me, because of the racist boss, he fired pretty much all the black people and all the older folks. And just kept nothing but the white folks. And then started hiring nothing but beautiful, gorgeous blondes. Very young. Um, started hiring them. With no work ethic whatsoever. No prior experience. And he knew that, right? But, you know, that was his uh, playtime. That was his eye candy. 
So they always got it easy, and the only two dudes working there, one was white, me being the only Hispanic, got it pretty rough, especially me. So I already knew they were gonna rat me out, but this was an emergency. So I said to hell with it, and I just took off. I ran to the restroom. And you know, usually when you go to the restroom and it's a lonely restroom, you kind of get your pick on the stalls and come on guys, we all choose the handicapped stall, right? The, the one with the larger space, if you don't know what that means. I was in such a hurry that I slammed the door wide open. I noticed immediately that it's empty, but I still go for the first stall that I see. I just open it, close it, drop my pants and I just explode. Just explode. It was horrifying. It was like, it was like a primal thing of me coming out <laughs> to just shit anywhere I can and not give a damn. Don't even look. But the problem was that I was taking a diarrhea. I was just watery, explosive, excessive diarrhea. Keep that in mind. I didn't notice that I had just sat on top of a uh, toilet that was clogged up and already flushed and used. So I shit it on top of shit and piss already and it was right at the rim. I am not exaggerating, it was right at the rim. I said, oh my God, man, a drop or two more of piss and the thing is gonna start flooding. Ah, <sighs> man. These were uh, sensor flushes. So the minute you lean forward a little too much to wipe your ass, or you stand up, or you just leave, it's going to flush, and I cannot afford that. So I start sweating from the stress of how am I going to deal with this? What am I going to do now? Because my pants and my underwear are right at my ankles, and the water is going to drop right on top of all of that. And there's, I don't think I'm quick enough to escape it. So I got to start planning. So I sit there for a good minute just thinking in silence. How am I gonna do this? I said, okay, first thing, first thing is first. Unlock the door. People can see you're in there because you're gonna see your feet. So no one's gonna walk in there because it's unlocked. Okay, good, unlock it. Nothing flushes yet. Whew, that was all luck. Now, second step is get cleaned up. Wipe your own ass. It typically flushes. It, it, it usually triggers. I think I leaned forward too much when I wipe. So I was like, okay, I know I know this flushes this usually flushes when I'm wiping, so we gotta be careful with that. So I had to wipe very awkwardly. Very unpleasant to try to wipe and waste that. You know, when when you do something without even thinking, and then you're telling you like take a drink of water while thinking about it, it, it feels a little awkward because now you're thinking about something that just com comes completely natural and without thought. It's instinct. It was the same thing here. But I was able to get it done. Now, the last part was okay. I'm good. All I gotta do is pick up my pants and I know that for sure is going to trigger it. So I gotta pick them up fast enough so that when it flushes, I'm out. So I tried to plan my escape, which was kind of difficult to do because the doors weren't uh, unlocked or uh, like unhinged and push out it was pushed it was pulling towards you that's how it opens so coming in is push coming out is pull i said fuck they were small so i'm like okay got a small room to work with but start opening it up little by little i opened it wide open so if someone just walked in and went to a further stall and they just happen to look at what's inside they're gonna see a naked man all right everyone so this just happened my Sony action cam decided to take a poop on the last minute of the story Which is weird because it kept on recording right after the story was done It's almost as if like the story is lame and the action cam picked up on that and decided to just shut me down And the minute I was done telling the story it decided to keep recording after that So it's just pure bad luck But anyway, so what I was trying to say is what we'll finish saying was I just finally end up just picking up my pants, I run out of the restroom, not just out of the stall, but out of the restroom, decide to uh, just wash my hands and pick up my and pick up my pants on the, my way to the restaurant on the hallway and wash my hands at the restaurant, right? Well, after we were done setting up the restaurant, uh, we ended up going in our super early lunch, which made no sense ever. And uh, as we walked by, there was about two maintenance people, a bunch of housekeepers, 
uh, closing off the restroom, all hurdled up, pretty much, they're all Spanish speaking, where there's a lot of Mexicans out here, and all these ladies, you know, Mexican moms pretty much were like, oh my god, who they don't have respect for us, how can someone do this, yada yada yada, and it was just so sad to watch them deal with something that I created, you know, uh, just a giant biohazard of a mess. And it was funny though because as I walked by, I I I couldn't help but just to be evil and smiling inside of me, you know, kind of like a a a a a criminal, a, a a felon returning to the scene of the crime, you know, like an arsonist who started a vegetation fire and it got out of hand and it went completely crazy and it's destroying structures, and he just kind of joins the crowd, you know. Minutes later, acting like they don't know what's going on, just watching firefighters risk their life. And that's what I was doing, watching these ladies risk their health to clog up, clean up, and the maintenance people to fix the toilet that I completely destroyed. There. Enjoy the rest. Here's uh, about two minutes of me just walking around the park, bullshitting. Enjoy the music. Take you to Sakambi Lake. Walk with me. Watch my foot. Watch my steps. Here. Come in peace. 
I offer no food, but I do come in peace. I come in peace, guys. Please. Yeah. I can do that alive.